Hey guys, it's Emily, and in this tutorial today, I want to teach you some cool things that you can do with one of my favorite adjustment layers inside of Photoshop, and that is levels. And actually, my favorite tools kind of switch around a little bit, uh, but right now at the moment, I've really been liking the levels adjustment layer, um, and I'd love to know what tool or what feature or what adjustment layer are you loving right now? What one is your favorite? Uh, let me know because I like to kind of play around and see what you guys are all working with and really loving too. So right now levels is kind of my favorite. So I want to show you guys a few different things that you can do with that levels layer. And then if you want to download the freebie Photoshop action levels pack from F Cozy Clicks, um, I'll have a link in the comments and in the description so that you can download that at the end or you can just watch along and learn how to do these on yourself. Um, so the first thing we're, we're going to do is we're going to um, create a new levels um, adjustment layer by clicking this like half black half white circle at the bottom and going up to levels. Okay now if you want an overall brightness over the whole photo, one thing that you could do is you could pull this gray triangle that's in the middle of the levels layer right here, okay? So I'm pointing to it there. You're just gonna take that, click on it, and move it slightly to the left. Now, depending on how bright you want your image to be, that's how far you're gonna pull it over. There isn't a magic number, okay? So if you wanted it this much brighter, you can see that now instantly the entire image is brightened overall, okay? But let's say you wanted your overall image a little bit darker. Well, you're gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna turn that one off there. I'm just going to create another levels layer. And this time I'm gonna grab that gray triangle and I'm gonna drag it to the right. So you can see that the overall image is getting darker. So all of the image is kind of getting darker across the board. It's not, that's two cool things you could do. But let's say you wanted to target just certain areas and make them darker or lighter. Well, I see in the corner over here, she's kind of leaning up against the pier and I'm losing a little bit of detail. It's kind of dark on that side. So I'd like to target just that area and make that a lot brighter. One thing I can do with levels is once again, we're gonna create a levels layer. This time I'm gonna take this white triangle because I want it much brighter. And I'm going to move that to the left. So I just clicked on it, I'm moving it to the left. Now right now you see everything is getting very bright, like way too bright. So I'm going to click on this uh, layers, uh, the layer mask, okay? So you can see it's highlighted here. And I'm gonna hit Control or Command I. And when I do that, it inverts the image. Then I'm going to come over and make sure that white is selected and make sure I have a soft brush selected. And I'm just going to paint on where I want that extra bit of brightness. So I'm just going to try to pull up some brightness in my image here in these shadows, just like that. Now, if I painted it on and I'm thinking, well, I want it even a little bit brighter, well, grab that white triangle again, and you're just going to bring it over as much as you want until just that area is, is lit up the way you want it to be lit up, okay? And you can see that, I kind of like that a lot better now, so I'm gonna turn it off. You can see it's really dark, and then I turn it on, and we're getting a lot more of that detail that's just popping out right there. All right, another thing that you could do is target just the really bright areas. So in this photo here, I might wanna darken up some of this water in the background and make it a little more bold and kind of stand out. So I'm going to create another levels layer. Remember, we're just working with levels here. This time I'm gonna take this black triangle and we're going to click on it and we're gonna move it to the right. You can see the whole image right now is darkening up. I don't want the whole image dark. So on the layer mask that's selected here, I'm gonna hit Control or Command I and that inverts it and then grab a white brush. And I'm just going to paint on the areas I want darker. Okay, so you can see now all of this water in the back is a little bit darker and just kind of popping out in my image a little bit more. All right, two more things to show you guys. 
okay? So let's say you want more contrast in your image. So overall contrast um, in the entire thing. We're going to, once again, go to levels. This time we're going to take that black triangle here and I'm just going to move it in. And then I'm gonna take the white one here and I'm gonna move it in too, okay? That's gonna give your image a whole lot of contrast. Now I know it doesn't work super great on this one here because she's got all kinds of highlights blown on her skin now and it's just not a good fit on this particular image. But sometimes you're working with an image that you do really want that contrast in. And so this might be a cool way to add that into your image. All right, the final thing I wanna show you guys is kind of a fun, uh, creative filter, something a little different to make your image pop or to put a cool little filter on. And it's working with levels a little bit differently. So let's create one last levels layer. And this time I'm going to go down and you'll see underneath the histogram or underneath the curve, there's a gradient that we see from black to white and there's two sliders underneath it too. So that's under that levels layer that we were originally working with. This time, I'm not going to work in RGB. I'm actually gonna drop this down and I'm gonna change it to blue. And you guys, you could play around with this if you want and you're gonna get different effects. This is just one that I kind of like. I've played around with this. This is a filter that I like that I think is kind of fun and makes the photo look kind of vintage looking. Okay, so blue, but you play around with it too. And then I'm gonna go back down to this gradient bar under that levels layer, okay? And I'm gonna take the black triangle here, move it over a little bit, and I'm gonna take the white triangle and I'm gonna move that to the left a little bit. And you can see it makes a neat little filter over the whole image. If you wanted to brush it off certain parts of the image, like maybe I didn't want it on her face or part of the water or part of the pier, I could always just hit that um, layers mask and brush it off. But I kind of like it over the whole image of this one. You can see there it is without it. And with it, it's just kind of a subtle little filter. And there, once again, there's not a magic number where you want to put it to. You can kind of play around and see what color toning you like doing this you don't have to go to blue you could try it under red um, or green and see what look you get all right i hope this gave you guys some inspiration today to kind of play around with levels uh, and like i said levels is inside of elements too so you can play around with it inside of elements you can play around with it in photoshop or creative cloud and you can also download those freebie levels photoshop actions if you want to try them out on your own i appreciate you guys watching and if there is a tutorial you would like to see in the future on photoshop um, let me know in a comment below and i will create that for you guys thank you